The simple procedure of taking out fat with a liposuction, purifying out the cellular component, followed by systemic administration, has been performed in several small studies in patients and has also been performed in numerous animals treated uh, in veterinary practice. Now, we previously talked about how this may work in multiple sclerosis and about three patients that were treated with this procedure. We talked about how the stem cells have regenerative ability and also immune modulatory activity. Now we're going to talk about another component of the fat, the T-regulatory cell component. So we previously filed a patent on the use of taking out fat, extracting cells within the fat that modulate the immune system, such as T-regulatory cells, and putting them back in. A recent paper that came out from Diane Mathis's group actually explored this in very great detail, these T-regulatory cells in the fat. So I'm not going to go through the whole paper, but it's a very well written paper and you should read the original paper. But the part of relevance to our discussion is, number one, when you do immunohistochemistry and look at fat tissue, you can see a high concentration of FOXP3 positive cells. These cells are believed to be T-regulatory cells. When you extract the cells and you measure how many of these regulatory cells are in the fat compared to in the spleen or the lymph node or other organs, you can see in this figure there's much higher concentration of T-regulatory cells in the fat component. Now, do these cells actually function as T-regulatory cells? Do they inhibit proliferating T-cells? As you can see in this figure, a comparison between conventional T-regulatory cells, the dark line, and the triangle fat-derived T-regulatory cells, you can see both of them inhibit activated T-cells in comparison to control. Now, here is where Dr. Mathis's paper became very interesting. When they looked at cytokine levels, it appeared that at the gene level, there was much higher levels of interleukin-10 in the T-cells, in the T-regulatory cells derived from the fat, as opposed to other T-regulatory cells. When you look at the protein level, you also see the same thing, much higher concentration uh, production of interleukin-10. So, this gives us the idea that one of the ways in which the autologous fat cell therapy may be working, besides regenerative effects of the mesenchymal component, is that inside the fat, in the human, there is a lot of T-regulatory cells. These T-regulatory cells are inhibited in the human by leptin, which is made by adipocytes and by T-regulatory cells themselves. So in the fat, when you have the T-regulatory cells literally stuck in the fat, they are inhibited. However, when you take them out of the fat, purify them, and administer them systemically, it it's possible that they have much higher activities um, because they're no longer inhibited locally by the leptin that was being produced in the fat environment.